So today I'm going to talk to everyone about how to use our telemetry system application starting with the master side and then we'll move to the ground station side uh, later. So the first thing you want to do when you open up the GUI is you want to go to connection and choose directory. Now what we're looking for is we're looking for a place to put all of our incoming data. So I'm going to choose music and then I've already created a folder here called data but you could call it anything. And if I select data, you'll then see the location that I selected here on the top left. Now, within this directory, uh, for every ground station I create, a folder will be created and placed inside data. And within, that, within each folder of the ground station, all of the incoming data will be stored. So now that we've chosen our file directory, our data location, we are going to add some stations. So First, we're going to click the Add Station button, and then from here, the Add Station to View window opens up. And now we're going to add a station called Balloon 1, and then give it the port number of 4030. So now that we've done that, there the station has been opened up, and it still isn't connected yet, but it's just here as a placeholder. So from here, we're given the port number, and then we're given to connect or disconnect. Now, in order for the ground station to get their side up and running, for me to connect to theirs, they have to know two things. The first is the, inter is the IP address, and to do that, you, the master, master user has to go to, has to go to any, any, uh, any browser, and you put in my IP address. And when doing that, your local IP address pops open. And if you send this number and whatever port number you chose, so in this case 4030, to the ground station, and then they get things up and running, and then we, we connect things. So first we would I would connect, and then they would connect. And once everything is connected and going, we click the plot button. And from here, we have all the settings, or all the X and Y axes. So in this case, in this data set that we're receiving, we have temperature, velocity, humidity, and pressure. But any data set would work with anywhere between one to, we don't know how many the maximum limit is. But in this case, we'll just open up two plots, temperature and velocity, and then we'll have them both versus altitude. And then we'll add those plots. And as they're added, you can you can see the data is continuously coming in. And now let's say you wanted to open up a different uh, set of plots. So you click on the same button again, which is the name of the station. The window also pops open. And then now we're going to just add all four. And they don't have to be in this order. I can set pressure and then humidity in backwards direction. And in the future, you could have multiple different y-axes but in this case for simplicity we're keeping it to just altitude and then we're going to add plots and so now we have a different tab that now has all four of the options available for us to view and all this data is the data collected since the beginning so it no matter how many times you open it it'll always show all the appropriate data and all, in order for you to close tabs all you do is you just exit the tabs and everything's good so now let's say we wanted to add a, a second station so the process is nearly the same. You go to set up ground stations. You click add station. The window opens up. And now I'm going to name this balloon 2. And I'm going to decide the port address or the port number of 4040. And I'm going to add, again, remember, the station is not connected until you click connect. So I'm going to click connect first. And then the ground station is going to connect theirs. And now that everything is connected, we're going to choose to show some more plots. And this is of the same data set, but from a different computer. And we're going to choose to be interesting. And we're just going to make plots 1 and 3 active. And from here, you can now see all these uh, the, the plots that are working. And we'll go back to the first station. And then we'll just add one plot just to show that everything continues to work.
Okay. So now that we have shown the plots of working, now we're going to say, let's remove some stations. So I don't want balloon one anymore. So I'm going to go, I'm going to check box, check mark it. And then I'm going to go up to remove station. And then when you click on it, the station's removed, everything is shifted up, and it's now gone. Now this works for many stations, so we can so we can click on balloon three, add it. And if you try to add a station and you don't put a, a port number, you'll get a warning. So many of these things have warnings around them to remind the user to use things properly. So here I'll just set up just random port numbers. So let's say now I have three stations and I want to remove two of them. So you just select two and you remove them. And there you go. So the last two features we're going to go over is the data sync frequency. And this is the frequency to which the data is synchronizing from the ground station to the master. Uh, this isn't enabled now. It's a feature that could easily be added by, a, by the future team next semester. And what it would do is uh, the master station user, myself, would put in how quickly I want to receive data from the ground station. And uh, I would click on it, and then the this application would send it to the other side, the ground station side, and then it would use it as an internal setting on how what, on what to set the frequency. Uh, but it's not implemented now. The other feature is disconnect all stations. And what this would do is if you had one or multiple stations connected through different port numbers, and you wanted to stop all connections, but you still wanted the application to be open, you would just click on it and it would close down all the stations. As now, this isn't connected, but if you had multiple, it, it, would, it would close them all down. Now, the importance of this is if you have ports that are open, then uh, internet, you might maybe mess up the internet a little bit, or future connections might, might, might fail, and also it's just, it's just leaking resources, so it's not, really, it's not really good to have it open. But Instead of doing that, you could just exit the program altogether, and it would accomplish the same thing. Uh, well, that's everything for now, and next will be the ground station. So now that we've finished the master GUI, we're going to move on to the ground station GUI of our telemetry system application. So this is much simpler than the master. There's only four things to do to set the ground station up. The first is entering the IP address of the master, which I showed in the master tutorial. The next thing is to enter the port number that the, was decided on by the master. So let's say 7050. The third thing is entering the frequency to which files are sent. And this is uh, the program makes a list of all the files that have changed. And every, in this case, one second, those files are sent to the master. The final thing is actually choosing the directory for the program to listen to. So in this case, I'll just choose the music directory. So now that I have all four things done, I just click start listening. And now everything is working and the master, if anything is being created or edited in, ma in music, they should start seeing all of those on the master side. And then when you're done, you just simply exit out of it. And that's everything.